Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel, Liana's Corner. Today I am doing a video on um, cross stitching only. So if you're here for my normal diamond painting ones, there's no diamond painting in it this time, but it's just cross stitching. So I thought I'd let you know in advance. So if you want to keep watching, great. If not, I completely understand. So I thought I'll show you what I've got over the lot this week. I was hoping I was going to get some other stuff, but hasn't arrived yet in the mail. But hopefully next week. But I did get this in the mail on Monday. in the maxi, maxi organizing box, organizer box. It comes with the um, organized cardboard um, bobbins. There's a hundred of them. Um, I've already got one, but. Um, that is full and since I've started up again and had to buy a lot more thread, I had to get another one. So I got that off eBay for like $20 Australian. Australia. I was thinking how am I going to keep my um, cross stitching organised. So I was going to get a folder and then came out the folders for $3 but I saw this folder for $5. And the, only, and the difference was, that one was empty, but this one didn't come with the goodies inside. But, oh, it came with um, these like sticker sheets, has um, writing on it, like computer, fridge, boat, bed, etc. But they also have blank tabs. You can buy it on, and then you have on another sheet. Um, oh, it's exactly the same. So you got two sheets of the same. So I thought I can use the blank. It came with these um, like individual like dividers, which I thought was quite good. And then you had your clear plastic sheets, but it had these um, tabs that stuck out, so you could see down the side so I thought that was quite good especially for five dollars so what I have done is put the projects I've got in the front so, so I got a couple of kits I got some um, freebies I got offline and I got the floss already for those ones so I thought I just still got to find one floss got some that is I like, printed out but then on the side here I got kits so when I finish my kits I'll put it in here like I've done with that one so I know what it is and it's got the um, pattern in it and whatever's thread um, if I got it from Etsy so I wish I got that little koala from so it's in there and then my drawing drones that's the one I'm currently working on. And then I put one for free patterns. So that's my organization for now. We'll see how that works out. So I got that on Monday as well. Um, I went to Spotlight. Um, because I was down that area, not because I had to go out, wanted to go out because I had to go out. <coughs> Excuse me. So I thought, since I'm down that area of spotlight, I'll pop in. So I went and bought this hoop. Um, it is. Um, I think it's like an 8 inch hoop. I've used these before so I know what they're like. I do have um, this one but it just didn't seem as secure so I went and got that pink hoop. I went and got like a cue snap but this is the Easy So Luck Frame actual brand. 
it's a 11 by 11 inch so it's too big for the project I'm currently working on but I, cause I, and I wanted the 8 by 8 inch one but they didn't have it in stock but I thought I'll get this because spotlight at the time I bought this was having a 30% off sale so I went and got that because I've seen a lot of other um, well, floss tubes some using that so I thought I'll give it a try I needed um, some more. Um, I need a three seven nine nine for the current pattern I'm working on. So um, I got that because it wasn't at the other shop. I when I went to, it wasn't there. I got some more nine eight eight for the pattern I'm working on now because I stuffed it up a bit, and I'll show you later because I've actually finished what I've done. But I um around the border you're supposed to have like a one stitch around and I did the one stitch fine here but somehow I stuffed up and I had two stitches where I shouldn't have so I did a fair bit of it and I unpicked it all because I think I could finish um not finish oh finish it off the radio was but make it so it look even at the top. But then I was like, because mm, then that means it's a little side bit, it's worth matching, and I thought, no, stuff it. And I unpicked all that section, and when I really the section a little bit in the right area, it's just like, ah. <sighs> so I'm so glad I did. While I was at Spotlight, I got some E6000. Um, I do my own um, needle minders. And um, I was using hot glue and the magnets weren't working, so and I had read somewhere said E6000, so I thought I had some, but it had dried out, so I went and bought some more of that. Uh, now that I'm watching floss tubes um, and pe seeing people doing their finishings, and when I did cross stitching in my teens, early 20s. Um, I just framed them in little picture frames and that was it but now um, decorating them and what lot what is we lot not we but um amazing um finishes and I'm um, like okay mine's this is boring so one youtuber um she um found stuffed up sheep and she could use them so while I was in spotlight I saw this like a hanging um the box will show you better it's like a hanging wood shelf so I thought that could be candy so I could either find somewhere to hang it and then put stuff on it but then I was thinking I could take the rope out and maybe put something on that or hang it up and have it like that or so and that was five dollars on clearance and then because it had the 30 percent off I got it for 350 so I was quite happy with that especially if I can use it for something I saw this um it's a little um ball pine wood um little easel. Um I one stage it's nine fifty. I will not pay nine fifty for that but it was down to five and then because that's the thirty percent it went down to three fifty and I thought I could finally find a little saying that could go there and decorate that in. So yeah, I got that one. I saw this, it's a little photo album and you can add this um, like sticky, you can stick to it but then I, I thought, I don't know, maybe I could it will sit up, sit up or on the side, I thought I could maybe use it for um, a finishing, it was only a dollar on clearance and then 30% off so it was 70 cents so I thought if I can use it great if not it's not like I wasted a ton of money so 
I'd be interested in seeing what I can use for that one. So that's the um, my haul that I bought over a couple of days. Um, while watching, um, <coughs> excuse me, um, some different um, floss shoes, they were telling about some free pat, um, cross stitching patterns. So I was watching Hope's uh, Apple X Stitch. I'm sorry if I said your name wrong, but I will link these YouTube channels or Facebook pages underneath in the description box but she showed this and it's free and it's brighter days are ahead and as we all know we are not in a um not like in a bad place but it's not a good place at the moment so this is quite a um one we need to remember and that and so it came from Barefoot Needle Art on Facebook. So it's a um, free pattern. It's on 18 count, which I've never used on an 18 count before. But it'll be 80 wide by 92 high, so basically 5 by 6 inches. So it's not going to be too big. So. Um, I won't show you too much of the pattern, but it's quite easy to read. So I went and, as you tell, printed it out. And then I was watching two Marguerite Martini Stitcher. And she mentioned um, a page called Keepsakes on Facebook. And there was some free um, diamond, I'm not diamond paint, cross stitches on it. So. I found some that I like. So this one is Kindness Always Matters. And looks like um, Silver Creeks. It's by Silver Creek Samplers. And this one's B-roll and just keep stitching. And Sue Hill Designs did that one. And I saw, I think, this one on a different floss shoot page, but then I saw it on the um, Keepsake Facebook page, and I liked it. So this is Home Stitch Home. A tiny, modernist, um, it's actually her pattern. So there's a lot of other freebies, but these are the ones that I like the most. So I will add them to my collection of stuff I want to do. I do have, um, well it's a rip but it's also a finish because this is the first part of the free garden SAL from Doris Jones cross stitch on Facebook so um, I've done the borders and it looks like the little frame for what we I will be doing for this week so the pattern comes out on Friday so even though it's a Friday technically in Australia at the moment it's got to wait till Friday UK so we will be stitching that little section when it comes out so I'll link this in I have linked this in the last video I did but I will link a page again but like I was saying before um, you see up here this little corner it's like one gap and a gap there but I when I did it I um, started and it's like when I counted it came across that that gap there but I had two gaps instead of the one um, I had done like like this sort of bit in the whole color and then I was down doing down here in the green and that's when I realized I think it's when, oh no, when I was doing this little colours up here, I realised I stuffed it up. So I did all that and I thought, oh, i work out that, it's the same as that. But then when it came up to me, it was the gap, so I went and unstitched the whole lot. 
so that's why I went and got the extra grain. So that's what the pattern for week this week was. Um, so be interesting to see what the other six areas are because we do um, that's part one that one and that little one is part two part three that little square there part four is these three little areas part five is that one and that one and part six is that one that one in that little one there so i'm looking forward to seeing how that turns out because this is my first actual um sal or stitch along so that's all i actually have to show you and talk about um yeah, I'm not going to actually make this into like a floss tube like some others have because I've just got back into a cross stitching after so many years and I don't have a lot of rips. Um, I also did diamond painting and so it's going to be in between the two. So at the end of the month when I show you what I've finished in diamond painting, I'll show you what I've finished in cross stitch um, as well. Unless, But I might do another video just completely for cross stitching. If I get a big massive haul or something like that for that so yeah so I hope you're all having a great day and stay safe and I'll talk to you another time bye mm -hmm.